Hello and welcome to this video. This is a continuous video in the direct query series where we are checking what things work with direct query additionally. Now we don't have a date table right now in our database and that you might have seen initially when we imported uh, from the database we were not having date table so now we don't have a date table here and we wanted to create one and we wanted to create one in the power bi just like what we do in the import mode so we go ahead and uh, you know try to do this so we go to the modeling tab we have this option as soon as you click on some table you can get otherwise in the modeling tab you have this option uh, for new table and we are going to create click on new table and see there is no data tab right now as soon as you click here you start getting this one do you have now data tab and we call it as a date table as usual and then we say calendar is one which is going to create it for us date and we are going to give 2017-01-01 and sorry comma date and 2020 which is the we need comma 12 comma 31 that's the last date and then press enter and this calendar is created uh, you can actually create all other columns by using the add column but uh, here we are going to explain you how to do those so we uh, will do that and we come to this uh, data tab uh, which is available now but we will not be able to see the direct uh, um, uh, query tables but we will be able to see the date table here we click here and quickly want to create few more columns and one of the column which we are going to create is month here and we are going to filter this out and check it out what data is getting filtered correctly or not so we say okay we need a format and in the format we need date and comma we need y m m m hyphen y y y y okay done this is column done this is not going to sort so we need a sort column for this one and we are going to create month year sort and again i'm going to use a format only i'm going to create a text column which is sortable and i call make it on date and date comma y y y y mm okay and this column is ready now and we say okay go ahead and sort this on month year sort one more column we need here and that's the year column very simple we are going to say again a new column and then we say okay year and year and we say year and i'm not going to choose date dot year because i'm going to make it as a date table and once i make it um it will become a key and it is not going to allow a dot functions on the date uh, so we are done with this and now we go ahead and right click and say uh, mark it as a date table and now right now see this is date here and now we do validate it successfully so the table is correct and now it has become key so date table is correctly created and now we go ahead and join it with the sales date so we drag it and we join it with sales okay sales date fine and you see this is date and this is not showing because they are two different modes so not showing data and the relationship is also correct which is many and the one i don't want this is many and one i want is one to many Okay, date is one, sales is many, single directional. I make it this relationship active. What does Power BI say? Okay, one to many perfect relationship. But that's what we need. We come back here and now try to set it out. So we created a new page and now here we are going to bring this table. And again, we are going to have our category. Uh, we go to the item and we take this category and we, let's take our, all our three cross which we created using the different, different modes. So the major, the custom column, calculated column. Okay, all three are there, numbers are same, perfectly fine. We go here and now what we are going to do is let's filter it first of all, before we check it, we uh, have tested this overall number. So we need two slicers out here. We take going to create one slicer on month year and we need one more slicer which we are going to create on year and we are going to test these values and that's what we wanted. So let's remove this. And date table we put month year here and we're going to put year here and let's first of all uh, make this as a list and we are going to filter 2018 and number we required is uh, 7,582 that's what the number we need and that's 7,582 179 is the gross which is the second query this is the query uh, which is running for 2018 that's what the result we required and now we need the number number which is going to be uh, 259986 and then we go ahead and filter for number also and then we get this 259986 and that's what we require all three numbers are same so in direct query mode you can create 
a date table just like import mode carefully join it with your fact tables and you will be able to pass those filters back and we have shown it on SQL Server uh, there could be some database where there could be limitations but this is pretty much possible out here uh, you want to see something else on direct query let us know we try to you know go ahead and experiment with this thanks for watching this video thank you